Hello everybody, Jacques here from uh, Vans Backyard Farming and uh, Hi everyone! Hello all you beautiful people. <laughs> Today we're going to just do some uh, window cleaning up at the top there um, and that side and then there's another one around the, well, around the house that way. And right at the top there is actually a wasp nest as well so I'm going to try and avoid that or else I'm going to come out looking uh, a little bit damaged. So got glasses ready because a uh, big bright white house and uh, it's a bit, the glare is a bit much so that is the challenge up on the ladder and hopefully I don't fall off. Because we don't want to be going to hospital during this uh, COVID no. lockdown. Especially with the corona. Especially with the corona. So that is the challenge and then uh, we'll see what else we get up to today. Just going to blow the driveway, get all the leaves out, just neaten up everything here on our backyard farm. So it's a bit of a clean up day today. Mom's busy uh, the high pressure yeah. hosing the, the uh, carport area. Um, and just getting, she, the other day she cleaned all the back veranda and now we're just getting it through all the way to the other side now. So she's there then, so it's a bit of a big spring clean day today. It's so important just to have that clean space wherever you are and wherever you live. Uh, a clean environment, cut grass, just makes you feel good. Uh, clean windows, all the rest. Just like your rooms. If your rooms are clean, you're nice and organized, and then it makes you feel better. Now all the sleeves, once we get down to the bottom, We'll then put that in a big drum and put that on the compost heap because this is really good stuff. This is this is good for compost. So nothing goes to waste here on our little backyard farm. So now that we've blown the driveway, we're going to just pick up all these leaves, put them in buckets. And as you can see, we use smaller buckets because it's easier, it's more manageable, and we've got a bit of a slope on our on our property. So it's a lot less strain on the back because um, a visit to the chiropractor is a lot more expensive. So that's why we use smaller buckets. It's manageable. Um, and uh, less strain on the body. Although one of our friendly neighbors came and dropped off some Akka Brown freshly baked bread and we traded with some eggs and it's just been absolutely awesome. So, oh, so good, so fresh. But that is bartering and that's what I encourage you to do, is barter with your neighbors. Trade with some eggs, trade with some vegetables, whatever you're good at, biscuits, baking, growing anything, or if you make anything, barter. Your neighbors are gonna love it and it's just what we need, all need to start doing is bartering and communicating with each other. Produce more than we consume, and that's the way to go. That's the way of the future. Well, hello, all you beautiful people. It's just the end of another productive day here on our little backyard farm. So, I brought in uh, some of the scraps from the kitchen, a bit of spaghetti, some old uh, cucumbers, and just some uh, gem squash seeds. And you're gonna see how these chickens just love this. Check this. They just love spaghetti. Eh? I don't know what it is. It's almost like they think it's worms or something. But they just love it. That's it from us. Cheers for another day. Look after yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, let's embrace those differences. And don't forget to produce more than you consume. And we're all going to live a better life. Well, good morning, all you beautiful people. Jacques here from uh, the Vans Backyard Farming here on the east coast of South Africa. And one of those daily jobs is letting the chickens out. But uh, in all honesty, I let them out already this morning at five o'clock. And then it started raining. And we let them back in again. We made sure they had a whole bunch of food. Because we live in a suburb, in a, like an urban area, we've got to factor in our neighbors. And obviously just be good, good neighbors. You know, we don't want to keep people up waking let them be awake and inconvenience them. Um, and now we're sitting about half past 10 and the rain has subsided a bit. So just letting them out to do what they do best. And enjoy the outdoors, enjoy the garden, eat some bugs, eat some grass. Do what chickens do, scratch in the dirt and be all natural. And I just came to fetch some eggs. So we got uh, three in nesting box one there and five in nesting box two. So a good eight eggs so far this morning and I'm sure one of the ladies will uh, leave us a little present in the bush somewhere. So yeah, a bit of an indoor day and uh, we're going to do some baking. So we're going to try our best to make some crunchies. First time we've ever made some crunchies. So let's give this a try. Are you ready Ava? Yes. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> First thing we have to do is wash our hands. 
For this recipe, we used two and a half cups of oats, one cup of flour, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon bar carb, 125 ml of melted butter, two tablespoons of honey, four tablespoons of boiled water. We combined the oats, flour, sugar, and bar carb. We mixed it well, and then we added the butter, honey, and the boiled water. We mixed it all together, and then we put it into a greaseproof pan. Put it in the oven 150 degrees for 20 minutes. Cut whilst it's hot into nice little squares before it cools and hardens. And I just knew that all by myself. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a parent help me at all. So, so this is a batch of peanut butter uh, cookies or peanut butter biscuits that we did today. Uh, we didn't end up getting that, how to make it. Uh, and then we had a little accident here in the kitchen. Mom got her fingers stuck in the in the uh, blender. Uh, in the blender, eh? Yeah. yeah, we could say that. Yeah. But the main part is, is that these cookies are so nice. These are so good. These are peanut butter cookies. Oh, this is going to be so good with milk. We've got a batch of uh, butter. What's these? Butter sugar. Yeah. Butter sugar cookies going. Those new cookies are going to be. We're going to cut them up with cookie cutters into different shapes and stuff. But yeah, these peanut butter ones are... Delish. Delish. Yes. That's just the end of another day. We're going to go put the chickens away. We've spent the whole day in the kitchen. Cooking, baking. Um, so yeah, nice, uh, good roast for dinner. But yeah, massive day baking their baking biscuits. Didn't end up getting to the banana bread. That's uh, tomorrow's project. And unfortunately, Tanya had a bit of a uh, accident in the kitchen. Got a finger stuck in the blender. So I don't think that's going to be happening again. Um, but luckily she's okay. Didn't have to go to the uh, emergency room. So we came out of that one all right. But uh, yeah, but but Aina. So what have we got? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, all the ladies are here. I'm just going to feed them and uh, put them tuck them into bed for the night and then that is that is that that is it for this day i don't even know what day it is uh, i know it's a sunday i just don't know which day of the lockdown it is that's it from us today don't know what we're going to get up to tomorrow but look after yourselves keep washing those hands look after your loved ones and uh cheers for now <laughs>